So in this video, we're going to look at applying the difference quotient in the case where we're working with a quadratic function. So remember, here's the difference quotient, which gives us the slope of any arbitrary secant line through a function f of x. The directions say to use the difference quotient to find the slope of every arbitrary secant line associated with the function f of x equals x squared minus 6x. So that's a part A. And then there's a part B that says then find the slope of the secant line that contains the point 5 f of 5 and 5.01 f of 5.01. So these are just the y output values going with the input values of 5 and 5.01. And if we were to look at the graph of this, it would look something along these lines. We'd have a parabola opening upwards that passed through the origin. And our point 5, f of 5, and 5.01 f of 5.01 would be two points very close to each other on the graph. And in part b, we're being asked to find the slope of the secant line that passes through those two points. So we'll start off by doing part a, which is just to apply the difference quotient to find to the function f of x to find the slope of every secant line associated with f of x. So we take the f of x plus h minus f of x. We take the f of x plus h minus the f of x, which is the, and then we divide it by h, and this gives us the slope of every secant line. And then we look at the uh, difference quotient here, and this first part is saying everywhere in the original function where you see an x, replace the x with x plus h. So I'm going to replace this x squared with x plus h squared minus 6 times x, but we're replacing that x with x plus h in step 1. And then it says subtract the function, the original function, which is just f of x or x squared minus 6x. So in parentheses, I have x squared minus 6x so that I remember to distribute the minus sign into each term. And this is all divided by h. Next step, square everything out here. So x plus h squared, we want to remember that's the same as x plus h times x plus h. And you're going to get an x times x is an x squared plus an x times h, plus an h times x, or another x times h, plus h times h is h squared. So right here, x plus h squared can be replaced with x squared, plus, you get x plus h two times. You always get the middle terms twice. So plus two x h's, plus an h squared. That comes from squaring out this binomial x plus h minus 6 times x, distributing the minus 6 into the parentheses, minus 6 plus h is minus 6h, minus x squared, minus minus plus 6x, and this is still all over h in the denominator. And then what we want to notice is that we get x squared minus x squared is 0, and minus 6x plus 6x is 0. And so in the numerator, we're left with 2xh plus an h squared minus a 6h, and it's still all over an h. And then I want to notice that h shows up in all three terms, which means I can factor it out. So I get h times what's left behind 2x plus factoring an h off of an h squared leaves behind an h minus factoring an h off of a 6h leaves a 6 and this is all over h and h divided by h equals 1 as long as h isn't equal to 0 so we're left with a 2x plus h minus 6 as the formula that gives us the slope of any arbitrary secant line on f of x and then we're being asked to find the slope of this specific secant line, the one that contains the points 5 f of 5 and 5.01 f of 5.01. So when we're, when we're working with the difference quotient, we want to remember that we're working on the interval that goes from x to the first, the first input x to x 
plus h. So we start at 1x. In this case, you start at 5. And then you go to 5.01. And h is just the dis distance between those two numbers. So in this case, we have 5 as our first input and 5.01 as our second input. So we're working over this closed interval to find the slope of the secant line containing those two points. And in the formula f of x plus h minus f of x all over h, we, won't, we want to remember that x is just the first x value on the closed interval we're working with. And h is just the difference between the two x values. It's x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Remember, we started off with an x sub 1 comma x sub 2. And then we replaced x sub 1 with x. We just dropped the subscript off. And we got x sub 2 by doing x plus the distance between x sub 2 and x sub 1. So h is just going to equal the distance between the two x coordinates, 5.01 minus 5, which is just... 0 0.01. Again, h is just that distance between the two x values. So now you can find the slope of the secant line through these two points by plugging this and the value for h into the secant uh, slope formula that we developed using the difference quotient. So the slope of the secant line we're interested in is just going to be equal 2 times x, but x is equal to 5, the first x value, plus h, but h is just the difference between the two x values, so 0 0.01 minus the 6, so we get 10 plus 0 0.01 minus 6, which is just 4 plus 0 0.01 which is 4.01. So the slope of the secant line that contains the points 5f of 5 and 5.01f 5 of 5.01 is just 4.01. So notice the thing that's nice about the difference quotient is you never need to know what, right, when we first started off with finding the slope of the line, we had points x sub 1, y sub 1. We had points x sub 2, y sub 2, and we looked at the slope by doing y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So notice when you use the difference quotient, we never actually have to calculate y sub 2 and y sub 1. We just need to know the first value for x and the distance between the two values for x. We never need to make this calculation. I don't need to know what f of 5 is. I don't need to know what f of 5.01 is.